What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be going over Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and some problems I have with it. One of them isn't a problem mainly with the entire game itself, but more so the community. But anyway, let me get into this. So I have three main problems. Let me get into the first one. We have the Gym Order, Titan, and Team Star progression. Where do I even begin with this? I've been playing this game for probably about like the past month. I beat the entire game, completed the first Pokédex for like the first time in any Pokémon game. And I've noticed a lot of problems. But not so major problems, but I do have the three major problems in mind. Anyway, the first one is definitely the progression. The, you know what Titan and Gym to go to off the bat, regarding that is told to you straight up. But then afterwards, you have no idea where to go. You're not even told what Team Star crew to go to first. And if you want to know how badly I messed up the progression, let me tell you. So I beat these first three in order. I did this in order. But then, I completely skipped these two. The Team Star Dark Crew and the Vincia Gym, which was the electric one. And went straight to the Team Star Fire Crew. Because that is right next to the Auto Zone Gym. Oh wait, no, I made a mistake. I skipped these three. I was around level 20 for the Team Star Fire Crew fight. I almost lost, but I was able to survive and somehow beat it with my Grass-type starter. I don't know how. <sighs> I'm not done yet. Instead of the, And then I went to the Open Sky Titan. I did that. Then I went to the Vincia Gym. Then I did the water gym. I went back and finally did the team store dark crew. Then I did the look and steel titan. Then the normal gym. Then the poison crew. You can already see how bad this is getting. Because most of these fights are either over leveled or under leveled. Then I did the ghost gym. Oh wait, no. Sorry, I messed up. You see the Quake and Earth Titan? I'm just gonna put this before the Water Gym. I did that right before the Water Gym. I survived. I don't know how, but I did it anyway. You probably already see the problems. Hmm. Which means at this point in the game, I already have four of the Titans completed. Three of the... Team Star Cruise, and pretty much five gems completed. And then I did the Ghost Gem, then the Psychic Gem, then the Ice Gem, and then I did these final. And then I, I don't know what my dumb brain was thinking. I did the False Dragon Titan first, which is not Dragon and has three phases, which is not fun. I mean, it does strip like false dragon, so I mean, it's not too many problems with it actually. And then I did the fairy crew and the fighting crew. But you can probably see the level gaps if you go from here with your Pokemon level uh, around level 50 to here. You can see the problems. To fix this problem, after every gym, you, there should be an optional thing, or like some sort of person that gives you a suggestion, like saying, hey, if you're focusing on the Titan path, or maybe this path, or that path, then you should go here next. Like, let's just say you beat the grass gym. And then, like, maybe, like, 
the person that works at the gym, they're just like, okay, if you want to go somewhere, I would suggest going to the electric gym next. It's like, okay, there. So you can actually prepare for the levels and see what we what you have to do. Stop you from skipping too far ahead. But again, there's no way to truly fix that problem in an open world game. But maybe they should have done what Pokemon Legends Arceus did and lock off big areas until you complete the stuff in the previous areas. I don't know. The next problem. This one is completely with the community. And this is just the community outrage. I'm not gonna go at you. I'm not gonna go at the community about the glitches and stuff because I have not seen any while playing my game the past month. But the graphics, man. Why are people comparing them to the PS1 graphics? This is what PS1 graphics look like. Look at this. <laughs> Compare that to something like this. I don't think this looks like PS1 graphics for God. For, oh my gosh. Why do people think this looks like this? Literally just go online, search up PS1 graphics, and you will see absolute crap with it. <laughs> I don't think the game looks like PS1 graphics. It looks like good graphics for a game, like for a um, console like the Nintendo Switch. I don't know how to express that. In which doesn't have amazing graphics to begin with, mainly because the console was created about five, six years ago. Y you guys can see my frustration with this point of view. Now, f now for the. Now, you can't really fix this, but I have the third issue. And this is an issue that is directly influenced by the Elite Four and the Champion. <sighs> Gito, Gito, whatever. The Champion. Oh my god, her team is so bad. And that is actually an... I think saying that it's bad is an overstatement, to be honest. It's that horrible. I'm just going to go through this and give it th like two or three different makeovers that I say it might need. One being like a light makeover, the other being like a full makeover, and possibly the final one being like a Cynthia-level memorable team. So, Espathra. Uh, Espathra? I, I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. This is good. It is good. For the team. But why does the champion have a Pokemon that knows Quick Attack? Give it Shadow Ball. The Quick Attack is not good. The Pokemon itself is not bad, but don't let it have Quick Attack. It needs some sort of coverage against ghost types. It already has coverage against Dark. There's the Ghost. And Bug types aren't even... Use that much, so I mean, you don't need too much coverage against that. Give it Shadow Ball, and it will have coverage against two of its three weaknesses. We have Go Go. Go Go's basic grass type, but it's not good. Bulk Up is fine, but it has no coverage to protect itself from fire. Flying, ice, and it's it's super effective against pretty much types that are going to do nothing against that are, that are just normally effective to it in the first place. 
It doesn't even know a grass move. It knows a fairy move, a psychic move, just like the previous one with psychic. And horn leech. Maybe give it a grass move instead of horn leech. Maybe change Zen headbutt. But in my opinion, completely remove it and change it for Arbol Olive. Oh, the, the Olive Pokemon. I'm not great at pronouncing this stuff. Arbolov, Arboliva, Arboliva, yeah. Arboliva is better than Gogo. And it's a Gen 9 Pokemon to stick with the theme that her team is starting to go with. Veluza, another psychic type. And a water. Veluza sucks. It really does. Replace it with Dondozo. Or even Palafin. That would be better. I mean, she. it, it seems like she's trying to go with an elemental type in. But why Avalug? You don't make a defensive wall of a Pokemon have such little special attack. Flamethrower... Can one shot this thing very easily? Replace it with the obvious to tighten. That will be better. King Gambit. This thing is amazing. Great coverage, great Gen 9 Pokemon. But the four times weakness that it has to fight in, and and the fact that its ability makes it a Pokemon that is made to be your ace, not your ace, is not good. Now, finally, we have. Her ace, Glimora. You do not put a Pokemon that is made to set up poison spikes as the final Pokemon on your team. I mean, for a light takeover, switch Cam King Gambit and Glimora. King Gambit can make more use with his ability, and he can get stabbed from Dark or Steel. It's good. So let me tell you what I would really change to make this a Cynthia level memorable team. It's a champion. It needs to strike fear. It needs to be like Steven. Steven Stone. Or Cynthia. Or just someone who is strong. This is complete trash of a team. So I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. Well... I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I would do to make this good. Put the Glamora as the first person on a team. You can one-shot it with a ground move or a water move, but it can still set up poison spikes. Which will already make it a better team. If she's going for a grass, water, fire type combo, I would change the Go Go to Arbaliva, Veluza to Dondozo, and you don't even need an ice type. Louis give Seru Ledge or Armor Rouge a chance on this team. They are both great. And it will be very good, considering that's either type of the game. Now. That's five Pokemon on a team. Oh, and of course I'm getting rid of the as Espathra. King Gambit, I am going to put as the final Pokemon on the team. His ability, King Gambit's ability, just allows him to get buff from the teammates dying 
So having it the last Pokemon on the team is just going to make it super strong. And with a tear type of dark, with a Kowtow Cleaver Stab, Cleave Stab, I don't know. I'm not thinking straight today, I really am not. King Gambit is going to be super overpowered if it's the final Pokemon. So, so you may be wondering, okay, we have the Ace, we have the Elemental Trio, and we have the Setup Pokemon at the beginning. What are we going to do for the final? What are we going to do for the one before the final? A Baxcalibur with loaded dice and a move set of Dragon Claw, Icicle Spear, Dragon Dance, and his signature move. And give it loaded dice. That will just make his icicle spear stronger. I just those changes will make this so much better. It's really sad that I had a bigger time struggling with Poppy, the little child in the Elite Four, than the champion herself. You you can see the problems I have with this game. It ain't many, but these three, with the community, the progression, and the champion, really makes me go crazy. The storyline needs no change. It was amazing. The team starve out needs no change. It's something new, and it's definitely something amazing. The Titan route doesn't even need to change either. It's, it's cool. It's made me cry. Dying dog. But you can see these issues definitely need to be addressed. Maybe they can be addressed with a with maybe a DLC. I don't know. But thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.